for Trey Alexander. You know, we'll start him um, at defensive end. I, you know, he obviously he's. If you watch his film as the season went on, I think he got better and better as the season went on. Coach Blankenship was really excited about him. And w- watching his film, you see the type of quickness and the, watch him come off the edge. He can do a lot of things. And we'll just have to see how – and we told him this when we are recruiting him. You know, we'll have to see what happens with his body because he's a big kid. He's got great length and great speed. And he gets in the weight room, he might end up being a – 290 pound kid rather than you know one of those speed rushers but right now I think he uh, he's got a chance depending on how hard he works to come in and, uh, and help us out some next year good talent coming in I, I think based off what you guys have signed just how do you guys feel overall on the line and what you guys brought in to help with that well we're excited about it you know Isaiah's already here on campus and then uh, the Fultwater kid from out in Georgia we're excited about him I think those the upside of him and of Cortray are is huge. And the great thing about both of those kids, I think they're really good kids too. You know, you get, that's the thing I think you're looking for more than ever is you got to have kids that's going to fit in your program, be the type of person you want to be around. We always talk about getting our room the way we want it, and those two kids are the type of kids I want in my room. They're good players, good students, and good people. What's it like being back? It's great. I'm excited about it. Family's excited about it. You know, we're just looking forward to – I'm looking forward to getting into the football part of it and spending more time with the kids we got on campus. How much did familiarity just help you being back in this this state and being back in this building? Well – Obviously, this building wasn't here when I was here, but yeah, it's it's great to be back in the state. I'm looking forward to getting back out and in the state, doing more recruiting, and didn't have a chance to uh, do much, you know, in the last couple of weeks. But I'll be uh, going down to Hot Springs this weekend to the, cl- the state clinic and looking forward to visiting with a lot of old friends. What's it like working with Chavis and, and kind of getting the staff together defense? Yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, we spent 15 years together at the University of Tennessee, and the opportunity for us to be back together again, he tried to make it work out two or three times, and it never worked out, but this time uh, it worked out for us. So I think we're both excited about that opportunity to work together. How much did you maybe help them out with just being familiar with this area for the, the years you spent? Well, I did all the driving for the first week, if that tells you. <laughs> so I was chauffeur and uh, Coop and Chief both around. But, no, I think uh, I can help them a lot just understanding that. And uh, you know, just from, we're talking all the time about places you want to live and what you want to do. And But this is going to be a great place in, for all of us. When you look at the talent you got now to maybe the talent you had when you were here, just it, it, I know it's different. Um, is it better? Um, what do you think about what Well, I think you can answer that question because you've watched them play a lot more than I have. I know one thing. There was two guys playing on Sunday that we recruited when I was here the last time. They were pretty special players, and there's a lot of those guys that are in the NFL right now. And I don't know. Hopefully there will be a lot of these guys that are on this football team right now that will be able to play on Sunday. And when we get an opportunity to work with them a lot bit, a lot more, we'll be able to tell that. Just working with Coach Morris and and his enthusiasm, what have you seen from what how he's kind of led you guys through this you know month? Well, I think the key to Coach Morris is he's just a great person, you know, and he is very well organized. And a lot of people ask, you know, we we didn't have really a lot of close ties, but had a great friend named Dan Brooks that worked with him at Clemson and. He had nothing but great things to say about him as far as what kind of person he was. And then the fact that he does go 100 miles an hour, I mean, that's exciting. You know, he's he's ready to go, and he knows what we have to do to be successful here. And Chief and Coop and I have been in this conference, you know, many a year, especially Coach Chavis. So we, we can help him out, and we know what it takes to win here. What or how important is spring going to be just to see what you have and, and how much you need to develop before the fall? Well, it's, this will be the most important spring we have, you know, the whole time we're here. Just getting to know the kids, letting them understand the scheme and the techniques that we want to use. And it's, it's a, as much as anything, getting them to buy in what we have. And I think they'll do that because I think these kids are hungry and they want to win. You mentioned Nick. I mean, how much you didn't recruit him because he was already signed before you got here. 
How, have you had a chance to develop a relationship with him? And then really what kind of player do you see him watching the film? Well, I think Nick's a special young man to start with. Like I said, those kids, both, all of them are. They're just really good kids. He's a <laughs> – He's excited about being here, so that's uh, that's exciting to me. And, yes, I went and did a home visit with him and his mom. They're great people. The whole family is, and they're all excited. Grandpa's got a motor home. They're, they're ready to be here and be a part of the Razorback family. But I think his upside, just the fact that he's he is long, he's long, and he's got a chance to really be something special. What do you remember most about your previous time here that maybe can help you along the way, you know, the second time? Well, I think it, just the fact that we were really good when we were here before. You know, we, we won a lot of ball games in the three years that I was here and had a couple of real special seasons. So that you know it can be that way. You know, and there's been great teams before that, and that's what we got to get back to. Yeah, I mean, in talking to Coach Chavis and talking to Coach Cooper, they were at LSU when you guys were doing your thing and ranked number three and number four, you know, when they were ranked number one. I mean, that those times can be had here. Yeah, it can, and that's the reason we're here. We believe that we have an opportunity to come in and, and get us back to where we want to be.